welcome back anglers i'm the survival this and we return call of wild the angler so i've got a few things i found researching about like the mountain whitefish and time day there is a day night cycle to the game however unlike call of the wild the hunter you don't have a way to actively like just go to sleep to change the time of day you want you have to let it naturally go about which is really bizarre considering a mechanic like that was in a previous title that they've done. So, I don't know if that's something that's being worked on and will come out or what, but yeah, it feels bizarre to have done it, so... Actually, what's with the shoreline over here? Is that just like... Uh, maybe that's just how the shore looks, like with the muddy kind of color there. But I don't know if it's because they intended Call of the Wild the Angler to be more like multiplayer game, so you can't just go flipping time of day on other people you're playing with or what, but it's a bizarre choice to not have included when you do have specific mechanics of the game tied to day or night. And we'll just report this little patch here. Everything is food for something, Buck, and these nasty hyacinths are no exception. Those beetles won't believe their luck. You're a quarter down. Oh, okay, I guess there's only a total of eight of those to find and report. Now, let's go off to this other place. I guess maybe we're getting towards sunset, why I would say... Or maybe I just got a random whitefish there for the tutorial. Yeah, that's something I'm hoping will get changed quickly or soon for the game, because it feels so bizarre to have the tutorial say at night, but it's not okay. In order to change day or night, here's a certain cabin that's your own while you're out here doing your stuff. You can go in, sleep at the bed, etc. Like, I don't know how that got overlooked, considering it was, again, in Call of the Wild, the Hunter. Now you're a quarter through them floaters. That tech sure is something else. Shame they can't check themselves yet. I mean, that's a little weird if you can have, like, those little remote stations that they just don't, like, send their data wirelessly to somewhere. But whatever. What's that? That's almost like a swarm of bugs, I think. Okay, you know what? Let's not get too distracted. I do have a goal I'd like to try to get done this episode. Oop, although I'll have to mind where we're approaching for this. Yeah, basically just swarms of flies over the water. No, and you do have something like cruise control. I guess just like toggling the auto walk. I'm not sure what I hit there to kind of bounce the boat a bit. Okay. Let's just try and see if we can get another whitefish around here. I actually think that's a pike. Now, this is a fish where I expect some tough fighting for, like, bursts and then cools down. Come on in, you. Yeah, not the fish I think I'm after, but it still would be nice to try to reel it in. 
Thankfully, it's not getting line like uh, that one fish from last episode. It's definitely taking a lot before we can see. There we go. I think that tired it out. For a little bit, at least. Come on. Head on in here. There we go. Sort of. Okay, yeah, I think that tired it right out now. We got it. Why is it every time I seem to say that, it gets like a burst of energy and then going through a bit more of a fight with it? There we go. Yeah, little tiny northern pike. I'm not sure if I've ever actually, oh. Almost a kilogram. I'll set it back in the water. Nice little catch, but again, not what we're after. I also gotta remember too, I think if I press shift, I actually reel in a little faster. Kinda forget that I can use that trick to help. We'll try it with whatever we might get in next. But it does seem like the spin casting is a little bit more reliable for getting uh, hits in that than float fishing is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Send that right out. And let's wait and see if anything does come along for another strike. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Looking for just another mountain white fish, and that'll probably be the last we need for this tutorial. Another thing I also don't know is if I'll get like further casting range with better gear or not. I can't remember if that was a detail in the shop where there's any mention of like what would lean into that or if it's just you have that fixed ranged all the time. Yeah, we'll go a little slower, just give it a bit more time in case. got here. I don't think this is a mountain whitefish. I think this is possibly another trout. No, hard to tell. Could even be a bass. Can't really get a good look at it. Yeah, I'm thinking more of a bass. It kind of looks like it has more of a rounder shape to it. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this is uh, either a small or a large mouth bass. Come on. Just gotta try to fight it and bring her in. Just a little more. There we go. What are you? Large mouth. Okay. Uh, we're getting our spinner mastery up, so we'll toss that back in. Now a little bit of credits there. 
And let me a little try from over here. Yeah, so shift does increase your real sp in speed a bit. So I'll just have to see, remember next fish that's on to try to use that, because I admit I kind of forgot to do that once I, we had the bass hooked. Okay, let's try... Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, no, no matter how many times you seem to want to go through the animations, it doesn't really increase or change the cast that much. It just seems stuck around that distance of 14 meters out. Well, that's still quite a bit of line to actually have out, but... Anything want to come and try giving us our thing a little hit? Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll keep it at two. Maybe that'll encourage things a little bit more, changing the speed up. Well, how about over there? Yeah, so the quick cast doesn't seem to throw the line out as far. No, it does skip a lot of the hassle of just going through the animations and getting the feel of that quite right. Okay, nothing on that one. Let's see if anything comes for a strike on this one. I kind of do wonder what uh, night fishing is going to be like, because I haven't found anything that... like, seems to turn on a uh, headlight or flashlight or anything, so is that you just have, like, an attached headlight, and once it gets a certain hour, it just automatically turns on. I just have to keep out here and at it and see, although... It does kind of look like it is growing a little bit more dim out. Still gotta admit, though, I'm like that and the... Oh! Of course, when I'm trying to admire the scenery, that's when we get to see a fish come on. Still dragging out line from us. Although this one doesn't seem to be wanting to go near the top, so this could be what we're after. No, oh, maybe not. I don't think the whitefish jump. But it's definitely giving us a good fight. Okay, I know. Shift when you actually have a fish hook doesn't seem to do what it does it without, so there's no reason to worry about that. Oh, come on in, you. Come on.
Let's increase the drag a little bit more and see if that slows her down a bit. Now well, we are bringing it in. It's taking a little bit of time. I wonder if that's what I've been doing wrong, is maybe to, nope. Maybe I should be trying to pump for as long as I can or like bring it in. Come on, almost got it. Yeah, this one's definitely got quite a bit of fight in her. Not sure what it is. Could be another bass. Might even be a trout. Just gotta really fight it. Yeah, I think that's another bass. Come on in, you. There we go. Just this last little leg to go. That's definitely making us fight. There we are. Not a largemouth. They definitely put up some good fights when you get them on. Okay. Send you back out. And it is starting to get a little bit more dim, so I'm hoping it won't be long before we get our mountain whitefish. I don't know if we'll be able to uh, get another tutorial done this episode. Oh, that's a pike. Actually, we are steadily reeling it in. Well, we're. They can be buggers sometimes, but I gotta admit, it does get a little frustrating when it feels like, oh no, see, not what we're after. Now it's one of those things where I, maybe I should just save up and get the strongest line possible and then I don't have to worry about snapping as much. Yeah, like, I'm not even slowing this thing down. I think I'm just going to let this one go. I was like, I'm sort of... I... Yeah, it feels like I'm getting fish that I just have no chance of getting with the current deer, and because I'm stuck in this tutorial... Ah, man, this... 
I mean, sometimes that is fishing it. I don't think I've ever been lucky to have anything that's been too big for, like, the line can't hold or support. But the big nuisance is how you don't have a way to focus the time of day for what you want to go for, like, species-wise. And just kind of being a little stuck. Like, I'd be alright more if you could just actively change it so you can go more what you're trying to. But you basically have to just let time naturally do that in the game, which, from what I was reading, it's like three and a half hours is the day cycle, and half hours the night or so? Like, just give us the beds the Call of the Wild did, and let us set the time of day if we want to, and then have the day night cycle be whatever it is. I think that is going to be one of the things I'm going to look at. Definitely getting pretty soon with the credits we'll save up from these tutorials is much better gear. Get a line that's going to hold and a reel that actually... Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to bring that in. That I think is like a trout or a salmon. It's big whatever it is. And I don't know if we'll be able to bring her in. It looks pretty big. Come on. Yeah, like I feel completely out of the gear here. Because of what... Just how much these fish are able to just keep taking line despite like how hard I'm trying to reel. You know what, just let her go. It's frustrating because like... I need the whitefish in order to progress, but I only certain time of day are they actually like an active species, and the area they sent us to do this for, all the beginner gear just feels completely outclassed for everything we've been getting on the line recently. Come on, let's just try to get this other white fish, and then hopefully, at least with this weekend, we can get the tutorial done with. Another one, just like that. I think this might be another perch. It's not a very big fish because it's not taking line out. Or at least it's not doing it very easily. So it's probably a smaller species. Yeah, I'm thinking this is just a perch.
Okay, what do we got? No, oh, no, actually a large mouth, I'm surprised. Uh, 1.4 kilogram. There's a little bit more credits in for us, but... Come on, whitefish. I don't mind catching these things when I can actually reel them in, but... Yeah, it does feel like there is a... Uh, Ginner stuff really is limiting for what things you can deal with or not. Nope. Oh. No, I think that's another pike. I think it's pretty small. Yeah, another small northern pike. It's just a juvenile. Large ones can get, or well, adults can get a fairly well sized one. Yeah, and that's one of the few species of fish I've actually caught myself. What are all the species of fish I've gone for? Um, Mostly been pickerel or walleye for anybody from the States watching more. I think that's their common down there. Yeah, pickerel slash walleye, perch, pike. The have really been the only three ever really fished for. And again, all of it was... Okay, well, I think that's another bass. I don't know if the game just, like, pitied me at the end of the pier for getting that one white fish or what, because I have not seen even, like, too large of one here. Come on in, you. Come on. Still has taken out line. I wonder if I should just be constantly, like, trying to reel in and use... Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong, is I shouldn't be letting up on trying to reel in, or only do so... It was looking really bad. We're fighting, but I got you. Ah, oh, come on. You aren't getting away here at the end. There we go. Yeah, another large mouth. On one hand, it is nice to be catching fish, but on the other, not really getting us towards the goal I need. Oh, and then... I almost feel like for that one, that might have been something where you want to include, like, a little bar on the right-hand side to show, like, your cursor going back and forth, and once it's in, like, a green at the top, that's okay, your cast is good to go out and let go at that point. Just because it does take some time reading the animations and learning... Oh, another largemouth. God, not even after you guys. Might have to try float fishing here with how this is going. You know what? Let it go. It's getting pretty annoying trying to go for this one single species. Just get a quick cast. Again, this wouldn't be so bad if it was, okay, I can just drop this tutorial thing and pick up another one, or I could have set the time of day, but it just feels like you get stuck. Now, 
This is exactly where it wanted me to be too for it, so... It's not like I can really go to another spot, or if there's another spot it suggested to try... Just gotta keep slowly going about and trying. I was thinking about going to float fishing, but looking how long this episode has been going on, I don't think I'd have the time for it. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I will give it a try just in case. Maybe it's like going to be one of those special things. Yeah, we'll see if this works at all. I'll just give it, like, maybe a couple of minutes, and if not, we'll end this episode here, but... Definitely seeing some things that could have been improved and changed up for it. And we'll see if just maybe this helps. Maybe since it's not like uh, using the spin casting to lure in other stuff, maybe this will be a better way to target exactly what we're after, which is the fight or the white fish. That's actually another thing. I don't know if there's even like a way to tell the time of day. I know there's a day night cycle in the game, but I don't think there's anything like a watch or. Anywhere displayed that lets you know, okay, it's going towards sunset, sunrise, etc. But I think next stop, we go back to the shop. I'm going to see how many credits we get and try to get us some really good gear get us out of this stuff that isn't really holding up all that well against half of, if not more, of the fish that we hook. Oh, I see one problem with this setup that I'm using too is... If you look at the color of the line on the reel, this is the beginner stuff, like what you start the game with, so... Basically, the stuff that snaps super easily. Even if I do get a whitefish on, unless it's like another really small one... It's hard to say how well we'd actually do and if we'd be able to pull it in. Time-wise, yeah, I'm probably going to have to call her here. I shouldn't... I thought, oh, let's go for something a little interesting and different. How about the mountain whitefish? Different, yes, interesting. Not as much because it's such a pain unless you get the time of day right. And, I mean, I do like that you have times of day for certain species. It's just that there should be much more ways for the player to set that specific time of day for what they want to go for. Not this... stuck in this one tutorial and waiting... hours for the switchover to happen before you can, like, complete it. Yeah, I'm not getting anything, so you know what? I think I'm just going to reel in, and we got to end this episode here. My advice, if you guys are trying the game out, or going to, save the Mountain Whitefish till last is an, like, objective to go for. They seem to be a very, very difficult catch to go for, unless you got the time of day exactly what it is. Like, I think it was just a random fluke when I was trying on the pier earlier, and I got that one. 
But at least we did get a few different other species this, this weekend, so it wasn't a complete loss. We just didn't get what we were targeting. So we're going to wrap things up here next weekend. Hopefully things will go quicker. We can get the whitefish and get these other tutorials done and moved along quick. We were at least getting a lot of the uh, uh, smallmouth and largemouth bass. So I think once we get to their tutorials, they won't go too... They will be quick and easy on like any of these. And like this one was. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Call of the Wild the Angler. If you did like the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave them comments right down below. And until I do see you in the next video or episode, survivors and anglers, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.